Well, hello there! It's that time again! Yes, it is! Time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful day of the 18th of April of 2014. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and, of course, always, most interestingly, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this week. And it's going to be a wonderful ride, so get ready. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, this card was the Four of Discs, or Pentacles, if you're used to right away terminology. Nice card, Sun in Capricorn, entitled Power. Ooh, building up our strength, building up our financial foundation. The sun, of course, is light, illumination, the power of spirit, our vitality. And Capricorn is ambitious, thrifty, ruled by Saturn, tends to be careful. Nothing wrong with that. You may have found yourself focusing on financial goals. You may have found yourself focusing on building up your savings account, your checking account, whatever it is, very practical, very, very down to earth, and it forms that firm foundation upon which we can build to move forward, to explore new things, to possibly go where we have not gone before. So even though it's a conservative energy, it can have a very, very useful end, as we're going to see in the next card. Yes, the next card is even better. The next card, what we're coming into now, is a Ten of Cups. Ooh, the most beneficial card in the entire pack. Attributed to Mars and Pisces, entitled Satiety in the Thoth Tarot, or Perfected Success in the Golden Dawn Tradition. It is indeed the most benevolent card, energies flowing, blessings coming down to us from heaven. Could be financial, could be spiritual, emotional, could be all of these things. That's the beauty of it. That's the power of this card. It's not just financial success. It's also spiritual elevation, emotional cleansing, emotional blessing, however you want to say it. It's a time of great power in our lives. Things that we've been doing start to really bear fruit and flow through us in a very, very positive way. And, of course, we got tax season completely behind us. Okay, That could also have been part of the Four of Pentacles or Discs, come to think of it, because we just went past April 15th. So that could include that. But now we're past that completely. And you're just going to find there's just a very, very positive flow in your life. So we can expect some very wonderful things to begin to, un to open up for us. Okay, to unveil for us, to come to us as this week progresses. This may be minor, might be major, but definitely, definitely, definitely we can and should expect to see some very good and very, very powerful things before the end of the week. And even by the end of next week, we're well on track to maintaining that progress, as we're going to see in the next card. Yes, the next card is no stranger to the blog. We've had it come up recently. Three of Discs or Pentacles. Mars in Capricorn. Now that's persistence. That's aggressive action. That's making sure that we move forward. We begin to manifest our goals. That triangle of manifestation. The disc pentacles Earth. The three Saturn. Capricorn ruled by Saturn. So it's conservative effort. It's working hard. Okay, It's not just luck. It's working hard. But it's focusing that energy in a very, very positive way. So the Ten of Cups it's not just a flash in the pan, so to speak. It can be an ongoing experience of empowerment and positive manifestation. Well, there you go. The blog blazed. You blazed with it. What a blazing blog it was. Listen, I love you. I really do. I appreciate the views that I'm getting with the blog. I've seen them going up. And you folks that are tuning in every week, I really appreciate your support. I'm going to continue doing the blog. Uh, and again, thank you so much. Till I talk to you next week, many, many blessings.